The last seven days have been filled with awesome gaming news, including new gameplay, release dates, and of course, announcements. So, without wasting any more time, let's get into it. One of our favorite characters is coming back, guys. Crash is returning in Crash Bandicoot 4, it's about time. The new title was developed by Toys for Bob and looks like it'll be packed full of great adventures. The game is a sequel to Crash Bandicoot Wrapped, and in it, of course, Neocortex and Dr. Entropy have escaped from prison. Perhaps with some help from Michael Schofield. Among all the new features we have to admit the ones we're looking forward to the most are the quantum masks. From the time mask that will let us slow everything down, to the gravity mask that will let us traverse platforms upside down. We're ready to go all inception on this game. We can't wait to dive into our favorite Orange Bandicoot's world and see characters like his sister Coco, Neo Cortex, and yes, even our bestie Aku Aku, whom no Crash game would be complete without. How many times have you beaten this clown anyway? Three. Really? Only three? <laughs> Funny. Seemed like more. So if you're tired of playing remakes, then mark October 2nd down on your calendar. The game initially will be released on PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. CD Projekt Red gave us a better look at Night City during its last livestream and unlike with Pokemon, the hype around the game just keeps growing. The trailer showed us more aspects of the storyline, city and even Cyborg Adam Smasher. We also got to see new gameplay footage of something called Braindance, which appears to be a futuristic technology that lets us enter another character's memories to analyze past events and even look for clues and info. How cool is that? Cyberpunk 2077 is set to be released if nothing changes again on November 19th for the Xbox One, PS4 and PC. Respawn Entertainment has some pretty big goals for its Battle Royale, including releasing Apex Legends to mobile. Exciting! This makes sense, especially if they're trying to compete against titles like Fortnite and PUBG. And the good news is, they're actually going to make it happen. You can expect to start playing Apex Legends on your phone by the end of the year. And to top it off, they've also confirmed the Switch and Steam ports of the game. High five! The only thing we have left to wonder is, are they joining the mobile race a little too late? Will they be able to curve out a spot in this competitive world? What do you think? We couldn't have been more stoked when we heard they were remaking the 1999 and 2000 skateboarding classics and building them up into Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 and 2. Honestly though, September 4th couldn't come fast enough. But if you're like us and can't wait that long, here's a little tip. If you pre-order the game, you can play the warehouse demo starting August 14th. The remaster, besides enhanced graphics, has a bunch of new features that weren't available in the original games, including a brand new multiplayer mode and a more elaborate creator park mode, which allows you to share custom skate park designs online. So, who will be in the game? The master himself, of course, Tony Hawk, along with legends like Steve Caballero, Geoff Rowley, Alyssa Steamer, Bucky Lasek, and many, many more. And the fun part is, they'll all look like they do right now in real life including Tony, who's 52 years old. Pokemon's MOBA hasn't been very well received thus far. In fact, fans have turned on it faster than Jigglypuff, scorned by a trainer who falls asleep to its beautiful voice. Its presentation on YouTube got more than 60,000 dislikes in just 30 minutes. And as we write this script, that number has probably jumped to 150,000. Crazy, right? It appears that A the Pokemon fans weren't expecting this game at all or every League of Legends fan just happened to stop by the video to say hello. We personally think it's the first and that this is a great reminder as to why you should never set your expectations too high. But there's not much we can do about it now. The muse out the bag and so is the Pokemon company's newest biggest thing, a 5 vs 5 multiplayer game where you battle it out alongside your Pokemon to be the team with the most points. So what do you think? Would you keep this MOBA or release it back into the wild? Last week, we learned a little bit more about the new Marvel Avengers game. The two main discoveries, Kamala Khan aka Miss Marvel is the protagonist and the supervillain is none other than MODOK. With the help of the Avengers, Kamala will fight him and every other vicious spot that comes her way. If you're missing having the Avengers in your life, then this game will be perfect for you. It comes out on September 4th. Now you're up to date, you can start your day. Have a great week fam.